Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars and in this video I'm showing you the Orion uh, CT80 AutoGuider package. I've got it bolted here on top of our Mac Newt. It just attaches to the uh, tube rings and then allows you to guide uh, for your deep sky astrophotographs um, quite simply using the software that's included with the um, uh, AutoGuider itself. So it's a package. The, the, the main component is the CT80 itself, which is a little 80mm uh, refractor nice and wide field, 400 millimeter focal length. So you get a nice uh, wide field to show lots of stars for the camera. And then speaking of the camera, it is the um, Orion um, AutoGuider, the Starshoot AutoGuider, uh, which makes a great AutoGuider. It just easily picks up all sorts of faint stars. And then with the PhD uh, software, you just click one button and it starts to guide. It's very simple. Uh, along with the scope and the AutoGuider, you get the AutoGuiding rings, which include these long screws that allow you to adjust the positioning of the refractor against the camera that you've got on the telescope. So let's say you've composed your image, got the object that you're shooting and it's uh, exactly where you want it, but there's no guide stars in that exact field of view. Well, you can loosen one ring and tighten another and adjust the positioning of the refractor to find a little bit more star-rich region of the sky. Um, it's been my experience though with this chip and this wide field refractor, you don't have to do that very much. There's, there's pretty much always a star somewhere near the field of view, so a very minimal amount of adjusting. When you get the Orion CT80 AutoGuider package, you're going to have a couple of parts, and I've got it partially assembled here. I've got the rings attached to the guide bar, but I don't have the telescope into the guide rings yet. And I think you'll find if you tried it, it actually won't fit because this finder scope bracket on the side is a little too tall to fit through the, uh, through the rings. So if you look in your instruction manual, there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to get this off. I'm going to show you here how to do it, uh, just so you have an extra reference. Uh, but it's a fairly simple process, and you only have to do it once. So let me show you how it works. So what you're going to need to do is remove this uh, finer scope dovetail bracket from the tube, but there's nuts on the inside of the tube, so you can't just simply remove these uh, Phillips screws up on top. The first step is to remove the focuser, and all you need is a Phillips screwdriver for this. These three screws around the side here have to come off. Be careful, they're very small, so don't lose them. Once those three screws are off, pull the entire focuser assembly out, and that will give you access to the inside. And if you look up inside or feel with your finger, you'll feel the two nuts on the bottom of the two Phillips screws that go through the finer bracket. So take a Phillips screwdriver on top, and then put your finger down underneath uh, on the nut and hold it there so it doesn't spin while you rotate the screw, and loosen the, the nuts and take them off of the screws. If they're really tight, you might need to put a little crescent wrench inside the tube and grab one of the two uh, nuts as you go. Once those are off, you can remove the finder bracket itself. It's probably best to take the screw and nuts and put them back into the empty holes. That way you don't lose them in the future, and it also seals it up so you don't get dust on the inside. So put the two Phillips screws into the tube, place the nuts back underneath inside the tube, and thread them onto the screws themselves. Once that's done, then you can reattach the focuser assembly to the optical tube. Make sure you put it back in the same alignment so the focus knobs are on either side of the dovetail bar on the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but it's, it's best to have everything lined up uh, the way it came off. And then it also comes with this uh, guide bar, which spans the rings of pretty much most of our Orion telescopes on the equatorial mounts. So here I've got it again on the Mac Newt. The bolts attach directly down. Rings attach, scope attaches, and you're ready to start uh, guiding. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.